How's it going today? I'm Brad with AftermarketTractorParts.com. Uh, today we're doing an injection pump on a John Deere 2030 tractor. Uh, there are two styles of injection pumps on a John Deere 2030, a Rooster Master and a CAV. This is a CAV or the cab pump, okay? Um, so the directions I give you are not for both, they're just for this one. Um, the biggest question with doing one of these is how do you time it? Uh, luckily with this CAV pump, there is no engine timing necessary. Um, a lot of times you got to pin them, you got to have them on top dead center, stuff like that. Uh, with this one you don't. Um, the best thing about it is that. So on the front of this, there's a pin and there's three bolts. Or there's not a pin, there's a slot. So the gear on the front of the timing has a hole, a pin that goes in the slot and there's three bolts to hold that to the injection pump. So you have to take in three bolts out. So you have to take one out, turn the engine over, take the next one out, and then get the third one out. Once you do that, don't turn the engine over anymore. Um, but then you can take your three bolts out and you can remove your injection pump after you take off your linkages and your lines and so on and so forth. Now, before you do it, if you look here, there's a timing mark on the injection pump. And if you look on the front of your cover, there's a timing mark there also. If it does not have one on your front cover or you can't find it, make one. Just correspond it with that. Right. So when you go back together, put it on there, torque it down, uh, pull your lines and stuff back on, and then you're going to have to bleed it out. Uh, with the CAV pump, right here's your bleed screw. So pump your transfer pump up till you get fuel coming out of there. Um, if you don't do that, you're going to take forever to start this sucker. So bleed it out, um, tighten that up, then start cranking. Uh, loosen up your injection lines either down here or at your injectors and uh, get it so you got fuel coming out, mostly fuel, not much air, and then uh, you should be able to start it. Um, all your throttle speeds should be set from the factory. If not, there's low idle, there's high idle. Uh, other than that, you should be good to go. Um, so good luck, thanks.